what's up everybody welcome back to the channel um thank you for joining us today if you're new to the channel my name is mike um today we are working on the wood stove the piping actually that goes up through the roof here so as you can see i got ladders and various pieces of stove equipment behind me um i've never done anything like this the dogs are playing but we got this big box um and it's kind of like a support box or a protection box um, and that's the first piece that needs to go in. So as you can see, I've already cut a hole in the plastic up here. And uh, so right now I'm going to screw this box up here just with one screw, just to hold it up there and kind of see what it looks like and kind of get my bearings and see what's going on. And then once I get it where I like it, we're gonna frame this box in with two by fours, screw it in every which way. And then at that point, we'll be ready to cut a hole in the roof um, and start feeding stovepipe up through it. I got my laser set up down here and I have that going through this hole pretty close to the middle I think so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna put a screw on that laser mark going up through the roof so that way I can find it on the roof and I'm gonna cut the hole from the roof all right now that we got the thimble in and we have the spot marked where we want the hole I think it's time to climb up on the roof Oh boy. All right guys, let's see if this works. I got this rope tied to the four wheeler in a loose pile here. Let's get it before the dogs come. I don't think it went down far enough. I'm gonna try again. Let's try it this way. Okay, I got it. Somehow, finally. Hopefully I didn't beat the crap out of the roof. All right, guys, I think we're ready. I got this ladder set up behind me here, um, and I end up finding one of these fan bases. And this is a good diameter for the circle. It gives me about two inches on each side of the pipe. Holy sh... Look at this. The kitty decided to climb up there. Cat, do not get on that roof. Okay, so I'm going to have to get the cat down. But, yeah, it looks like we're going up on the roof. Hi, right, guys, up on the roof. You can see the screw that I poked through up there. Right there in the middle. You see I got my rope going all the way up and over. Cat's trying to climb the ladder again. So let's do this. Got my nail or my screw right through the middle of that circle. And this fan base actually worked out good. I'm using it to hook there. I got my rope running up. I tied myself a little handle here. It's a little sketchy up here, for sure. Um, you know, I just got my handle. I'm hanging out. I got the ladder up here. It's still a little wet, so I'm trying to keep my toes hooked on these screws as I'm knelt down here. Um, so let's see how cutting this goes. All right, guys, so there it is. We lined it up almost perfectly. We got a storm coming in, so we got to hurry.
I got the heat shield and the adapter in there. We gotta go, cause it's raining. We got the seal up here and the pipe through the roof. I've just put a little bit of dish detergent on the pipe to give the seal just a little bit of lubricant as we slide it over. We got the seal down and I got my first stack on and then I got one more that goes on top of this as, long, as well as the cap. We got the pipe coming through. We got it sealed, all the connection clamps are on. You can see the supports kicked off there and that band that is wrapped on there. So that is for the snow supports. You can see them on both sides here. So now it's ready for the inside. Hello? Hey, Marty, it's Mike. Hey, how's it going? You're good, man. How are you? Doing pretty good. Just at Home, Home Depot getting some supplies. Oh, nice. Right on. Always working on something, huh? Yeah. Right. Um, I saw your comment, and so actually, man, I was watching your video. Do you know that when you Google Selkirk stovepipe install, it's your video that comes up? That's first. Really? That's cool. Huh? I watched your whole video, and I got the stovepipe through here, and then I saw that you offered some help to move this stove, so I think, like, if you guys are still offering, we'd take it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll help you put the stove in or get it up there. What when do you want? Uh, when do you need some help? Um, I'm trying to get it done this week. I mean, this, as soon as possible. Really, trying to get some free heat going. You know. Okay. How about tomorrow at three? Yeah, tomorrow at three sounds perfect. All right. Cool. Well, we'll see you then. All right. Sweet. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. No problem. All right. Bye. So yes, that's right. We have some special guests coming over today to help us uh, lift this wood stove up. And as you can see behind me, we got some ramps going on. So I'll show you what we got rigged up here. All right, so I have strapped six two by fours together into the stairs. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to wheel it up on this dolly. As you can see, this dolly lays flat, so we're going to lay this thing flat on the on this ramp. And then we're going to hook this hook to the dolly also. And that is kind of act, acting as a snatch block. And hopefully we can have a person at the top pulling on that as well. And a couple guys pushing. Check out this wood stove though, guys. This thing's a beast. It's a cool wood stove. We'll have to get some good shots once it's all rigged up. What's up, guys? Hey. How's it going? Pretty good, man. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming yeah, out. Yeah, the place is looking good. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of my little ramp here? Think it'll work? I love it. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I, think, um, I think it might work. <laughs> We're going to find out. Oh, yeah. Wait, if you wrap it around, you'll hold it right here. Okay, I'll do that.
see at the back? Oh, they're staying there. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, the stairs weren't in, so they, they couldn't get up here. So not they bad. I'm going to lean, but not bad. Yeah, there's a lot to this. I got to get some of these littler guys in there to see if it'll get burning. I'd be a little surprised if that went. Can you use gasoline to start the inside fire? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they did. The rust spot says otherwise. <laughs> Alright guys, last piece to the puzzle. As you can see, I got it pretty centered in the hole there. The plumber's tape holding it up against the wall. And that plumber's tape is actually Marty's idea. So thank you, Marty. Very good idea. It looks good. And big thanks to the entire Johnson family, as well as my dad, for coming up and helping me get this thing up here. That went pretty smooth, guys. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. But with everybody, that thing went right up. So that was perfect. So thank you guys for all your help. I want to also thank all of our subscribers who pitched in and gave some input on how they would have gotten this up the stairs. So with that, I kind of did a conglomerate of everything and put it all together and it worked out pretty good. So thank you guys. If you guys aren't familiar with Martin Johnson's channel, you should check it out. I will put a link to that as well as the video that helped me out tremendously down in the description box below. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out. It's cool. They're off grid in Northern Idaho doing a similar thing that we're doing. It's not a barn dominium, but they're building their own house and garage. So it's a really cool build. You guys should go check it out. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe down below and we'll catch you in the next video.